morning, everybody. It's 855 right now. I'm Catherine Hauser. We'll check your top stories just a second right after Danielle's forecast. Good morning, Danielle. Hey, good morning, Catherine. Good morning, everybody. The feels like temperature right now is running one below in Worcester. We've made some improvements. And three below still in Manchester, though, seven above in Boston. And the temperature will continue to rise over the next few hours into the 20s as the clouds increase this afternoon. Snow arrives between 4 and 8 p.m. for most of southern New England. It's going to slick in the roads and spots and then change over to rain from south to north. A wintry mix will linger longest outside of 495 into the first part of the overnight, and then we'll be in the 50s for highs tomorrow. Scattered showers turn to a steadier rain that comes through right during the evening commute, clearing after that. May see some wind gusts up around 55 miles per hour tomorrow at the coast especially. That may cause some isolated pockets of damaged traffic. And we'll get together, Roby. Danielle, super easy commute this morning with the holiday and school vacation, but we do have an accident north of the city, up in Andover, 495. 95 northbound, just after 93. The car spun out into the median there, but there's no backup at all with the light volume. To the south, just want to give you a look here. Here's the expressway just flying from Braintree to Boston. The other major routes from the south are a breeze, too. Catherine? All right, Ruby, thank you. Checking our top stories now on this Monday. The family of a missing man will post flyers today hoping that someone saw him. Zach Marr, you see here, was celebrating his 22nd birthday with cousins at the Bell in Hand. He went out for a cigarette around 1.40 Saturday morning, and he hasn't been seen since. His family has not heard from him. Marr lives in Harvard and goes to Mount Wachusett Community College. A brake problem left nearly 50 people stuck on tram cars at Cannon Mountain in New Hampshire. 48 people were on two trams when they got stuck in dangerously cold conditions. It took about an hour for rescuers to help reach each person and have them repel to the ground. Investigators say a mechanical issue caused the brakes to lock. Luckily, no one was hurt. A new sign this morning that late night MBTA service may not be around much longer. Tea workers didn't get a chance to pick shifts past 12.30 at night for the spring, according to the Globe. The tea has an officially axed service. They vote at the end of the month. Our next newscast is coming up for you today at noon. We hope to see you then.